So guys, do you know what is this? This is Xiaomi 11T Pro. I want to make video about this phone for 3 years of review. Let's go. So this is Xiaomi 11T Pro that I bought for around October 2021. So the price I bought this phone for around 2099 ringgits at that time. The variation right now I all this is 8 GB RAM and 256 storage. There is not so many people out there review for long term review for three years, for one years and two years. So let's me do it. This video is according to my experience when using this phone. I want to share about the goods and the bads. So let's talk about this three years when using this phone. First and foremost is the, the frame limit when you're playing a mobile game. In my previous video when I shoot this in here, here's this phone. There is a frame limit when you playing a video game such as I play that time as you can see in back. It's limit its frame at 45 frames per second. So this is very problematic if you want to run at 60 frames per second. So there is a solution to it. You can find it my other video in YouTube. So you can watch it. Point number two is overheating. Uh, when you play a long day with this phone Xiaomi 11T Pro you tend to overheat because this phone use Snapdragon 888 I play around 45 minutes maximum at that time and I try to touch this phone it's very hot wow the phone number 3 is the screen of this phone so right now you can see this phone is in new screen I changed it after the warranty ends. The warranty uh, cover around this phone is for two years. At that moment, when it's reached for two years, and at, at the yearly of the warranty ends, my screen was green line. I think they call it as a green line screen, just like a light saber in one particular line one two three this is very annoying i don't know what is the reason there's uh, so much forum tell it's it's about the update software it's overheating i don't know what is the reason of it so yeah unable to claim its warranty then i brought this phone to the xiaomi center to change it to a new screen i think that time in the early years i changed it for around rm409 ringgits it is very much expensive you know this is AMOLED screen so it's much more expensive than regular screen point four this you can see the back of it this uh phone this is not the original one i ordered it from online shopping yes the actual material in this original in this uh, back of the phone is the glass is one time i suddenly accidentally touch it and fall it to the ground back of this phone it's broken uh, the material is glass this is a third party Xiaomi 11 t for cases back cases I order it from China the material use is very cheap whatever it's, as long it's cover the back of it so no problem for me so the fifth point is the battery is too weak for after three years use this I don't really use 120 watts uh, charger yeah after three years the battery is very weak you have to charge it around three to four time for a day to use for general use i don't really play game with this phone uh, when you just use for general use uh, for facebook for youtube surfing browser using chrome for tiktok it's drain very fast at the afternoon you will see your battery at 50% so that's just very fast there is more when you reach at 20% percentage of using this battery it tend lead to turn off automatically you have to fi find an outlet or charger as soon as possible when it reach below 20% before it turn off suddenly 
Okay, that is my point for three year experience using this phone. So the good things about this phone is the camera is very good. So I having a not issue with this camera. When you browse on using Chrome, it's suddenly just go to main screen. I don't know what is the reason. Sometimes uh, when I surfing with Facebook, it's go to the main screen. Probably the bug of the software. And I really like the fingerprint one at the right side, at the right side of this. And currently right now, I don't enable it. It's very fast and very accurate. Rather than 14T Pro using a middle side of it, you have to put your fingerprint at the fingerprint at the center. It's very tiresome process. So my very conclusion is, is this a very good phone for you? Yes and no. If you want to buy a second phone, in the market for this phone you have to make sure about the condition of this phone politely ask the owner about this condition of the phone the system the problem with the screen the battery and so on because when you don't really ask the detail about it you will eventually face the consequences at the long run so you have to consider to change the screen when you buy a uh, this phone screen and the battery one except from that it's okay so that is my two cents using a uh, three years experience using a xiaomi 11t pro right now i upgrade it to 14t pro after use after use this xiaomi 11t pro around three years so yeah i think that's all from me as usual thank you for watching and see you next time